this is prototype 9000 I'm here to show new improvements to my water vapor induction system uh, first I added the second bubbler on there it was rocks that acts, that acts like an air stone sort of and there's my old one they're, they're kind of daisy chained together but it works just as well and uh, and another addition I have is a, a valve that uses the Venturi effect to increase the vacuum cleaner. And I have a needle, a needle valve here. A valve utilizing the Venturi effect. So I can, you know, using a needle valve so I can also control the flow, the flow and production of the unit. It hooks into my throttle body next to my brake booster. And let me start it up and show you what it does. I can control the output just by changing, just by turning that. You gotta be careful, but sometimes I'll suck up water. That's what happens when you have too much vacuum. Start putting water in there. So you adjust the valve. Right where it's not just barely where it's not putting any water in it, and it, what happens is it puts the water vapor into your engine, and it gives you extra horsepower. Gives you extra horsepower and a little, a little bit better gas mileage. I'm around three or four miles extra per gallon. I'm getting. I was getting like 20, 23 miles per gallon. I'm getting about 27 miles per gallon and a lot more power and engine has less wear and the transmission shifts easier. And this one I accidentally glued the cap shut. So I can't really do a whole lot with it. You put water in it. You have to do it when it's running. This is plain water. You add alcohol. You add alcohol. This helps the water evaporate easier, but you don't want to go over. You don't want to go over 60%. But more than 20 or 30% alcohol. Or else uh, then your engine starts getting hot. Really, this also keeps your engine temperature a little bit cooler too. And I usually just put them in, let's see, in here. on a way to mount all this stuff. Oh yeah, 
and the acceleration has definitely improved too.